like about Team Tape particularly is in the days like this where all the schools come together so they can all have a chance to, to meet each other, to share ideas, to see what everyone else is doing and it's not just done in isolation. It's a helmet for cyclists. It will send a message to the emergency services saying that they've fallen off they need help and it will send a GPS signal to where they are. Our device is a memory manager which aids people with Alzheimer's, dementia and other memory problems. Both my great-grandfathers died from dementia, so it's quite close to me. We've been developing a product called Vism, which is a headset, a stereo headset that uses echolocation to help visually impaired people um, make them aware of the surroundings so they can navigate by themselves. There's a rising amount of blind people and from our research there'll be nearly 4 million. So we thought that something needs to happen to give these people the freedom and to navigate on their own and be treated with the same respect as everybody else. Okay, so our idea is a uh, pop-up shield uh, which would protect the home from flooding. It's been a good experience working together because we're very uh, collaborative. We work together really well. It's like really opened my eyes to what I might want to do in the future. The thing to really understand about the Team Tech Awards is it's about profoundly changing the way that students perceive what they're doing. We have all of these tech heroes who come, which is wonderful. I wish I could have done something like that. It wasn't, you know, we did metalwork and woodwork and we tried to invent things, but there wasn't a structure for turning us into inventors and innovators. You know, it's good fun. Our idea is a playground equipment to power electricity. So the more people use it, the more electricity is generated. Yeah, yeah. Standard dynamo or a... A car dynamo, because it can be replaced yeah. really easily. So, yeah. Well, of course, your county is the home of the engine. It's the home yeah, of the motors, yeah. you know. <laughs> it's the very, very, very first, and you should be very proud of that. The Duke of York has come, and he really listens to their ideas. And it's great, because you also see the students sort of growing confidence. This app makes our life more stress-free because it chooses what outfit you should use. So then your wardrobe wouldn't be it wouldn't be physically done, it would be virtually done. So you just go to your wardrobe and you try your outfits on but onto yourself. Thank you very much. Before you put your um, groceries in the fridge, you can scan them. So when that user use by date passes, it will alarm you. There's something hiding, There's something at, something the you're hiding at the back that you've got here, so yeah, I must so put that in the fridge. Will, this will um, reduce the hassle of doing that. And you can block any inappropriate sites that you don't want your child going on. Today really is about young people and their ideas. Even if your uh, invention or technology doesn't completely go in the direction that you think you want it to go in, amazing things happen when you have great ideas. And you guys, as future entrepreneurs and future uh, scientists and engineers, are going to be at the forefront uh, of, the, of the speed of, of technology. Ideas that you're having today and the things that you're coming up with are genuinely the marketable, profitable and perhaps even life-changing ideas of the future. And keep at it, keep developing, keep thinking. But fundamentally, in the same way as teenagers in the past were, they're young adults growing up learning what to do with the world and learning what contribution they can make to it. It's about really deeply inspiring your students and perhaps making a difference to their future. There are many more ways than one to solving the problems of the world. I want you to go on in life thinking that you can do and you can solve these problems. It was a good experience and it made me want to pursue a career in the science field and I want to become a scientist. Today has helped us understand more about giving presentations to clients and improving your communication skills. It's like getting to meet so many like famous people and explaining our idea to people and them sort of being able to listen and sort of give us feedback on it really and sort of say, well yeah, that is, that's something new, that's something good.